Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Vivek Sahu and today I'll be discussing about installing Power Exchange on AS400. Agenda for the video, overview of AS400 and the installation process. Overview of AS400. AS400 is a mid-range computer system from IBM. It contains similar features like mainframe system and Unix-like systems. The hierarchy of the files will be library, files and then members. Features included in AS400 are a RDVMA system, a menu or command driven interface, multi-user support and dumb terminal support. Here the database is not an additional software but is available as part of the operating system. The installation process will be as follows. The first step will be you have to create these libraries. First one is condensed file library which will contain the condensed files. Then data library which will contain the CDCT, CDEP, CFG and log files. Then DTLLIP which will contain DBMOBA, DTLREXE, DTLINFO and various other power exchange application programs. Then ST data maps which will contain the data map. To create this libraries the command will be create library, then the library name, then create authorization star change. Star change is the public authority set to the value of QCRT authority system value. It's a system value, start change is a system value. Then creation of a save file. A save file in AS400 is nothing but a zip file as in Windows. To create the save file, the command will be create savf file. Then the library in which you are creating the file and then file name. After creation of the file, you will get a message like file. The file you have been creating, created in library QGPL. QGPL is a general purpose library which is similar to root directory in PC. Then FTP the .exe file to AS400. We'll get the installation folder from your shipping team and then we have to unzip the installation folder. In the unzipping process, we'll get a .exe file that is the executable. We have to FTP that .exe file to AS400. To FTP, the command will be FTP AS400 underscore 4 that is the AS400 machine name. After successful login, we have to create bin which will transfer the files in binary mode. Then you have to put the put file name and the file you are transferring and to the path to where you are transferring the file. Then you have to restore the save file. Restore is similar to unzipping the file. The command will be given as restore lib save library one user defined library name. If the library doesn't exist, you have to create the library. Then dev star savf which is machine defined. Then savf library in which library you are restoring and the save file. To which we have ftp the .exe file and then the command as follows which is machine driven. After issuing restore library command its message will be shown as below once security data from a change is occurred and then you can see in the right hand corner side that is a plus symbol we have to make the cursor there and we have to press the uh, paste down button where you will see some objects will be restored and zero are not restored that means it has already been done. Then you have to update the license key to command will be work MBR PDM. You, have, you can press the command and then F4 and the next screen will come up where you can give the library name, file name and which member you are updating. Then you have to provide the edit option that is 2 and enter. Then the then one screen will come up where all the license key will be there and you have to update the default license queue with one valid license queue which will be provided to you. Then after you have to provide the license queue, you have to press F3. Then this screen will come up where the change create member is N. You have to press it as Y to save the license key updated. Then you have to create the power exchange environment. The power exchange environment will have DTL LIB, data live, condensed file library and CPX lib. These libraries we have already discussed. Before creating power exchange environment, we have to add the software library that we have created that is DTL library to the library list and the command will be add LIVLE data lib position first. In step 2 will be the creation of power action environment. The command is given as below. It is the first description is user description then the data lib we have created, contents lib we have created. These are machine driven. CPX lib we have to create and we have to provide this. Then general extend sequential number. This is a default number. You can provide a unique number as per your use and then we have to enter. Or you can press F4 so that whatever 
the options you have given you can see in your next screen and you have to press enter and there will be no response when it is done the screen just goes back to the main screen the next process will be creating the dbmover file as we have done the license key update similarly we can update the dbmover file the command will be same then you have to press f4 then you have to give the file name library name and the member name you have to press enter you have to provide the two option that is edit and in the DB, then dbmover file will open up the dbmover file we have to add one node statement. The node statement will define to which system you are connecting to and their IP address. And the one node statement will also be there in DBMover. You can copy that and update as per your wish. And the next thing you have to update in DBMover file is DMX underscore DIS statement. In this uh, DMX DIS, specify the location that Power Exchange uses to read and store data maps. That is the data map library. And the uh, dbmover file looks like this here i have updated the node statement that i want to connect to this system which is running in this ip port address and the dmx driver pwx bsm which i have created the data map library after updating we have to press hit f3 and we have to make it y to save the dbmover file which i updated then after updating the library we have to add this data library what we have created to the system since the data lib library is already added uh, during the power exchange environment creation we must now add the data lib and the command will be add lib data lib then provide execute authority before running jobs make sure that the pwx user which user id you are using for installation does have star execute authority for the following objects and to grant authority we have a command grant object authority then object and we have to provide this command four times using all these objects and these are machine defined you can enter it and user will be the user you are using for installation after providing the execute authority the installation is complete if you want to test the installation you can in the command line you can give call detail info which will display the version you are the version you have installed and the release information about the utility the installation process is done we would love to hear from you. You can write us too in the support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us in this below address. And there will be a consecutive video which will uh, in which we will start the listener and we will do a road test using the uh, commands. Thank you.